Hi guys, welcome to Coffee Chat. I'm Mason, and this is Amanda. Hello. Um, we're the in-house psychics at the Crystal Lotus Shop. Um, and this is a little podcast, well, video cast we do. We are also doing a podcast. You're over at the Psychic Coffee Shop with me about twice a month. Yes. And I thought, you know, we've been getting that question. What is a psychic reading? What does it entail? What's your definition of it, Amanda? Basically, it's information that we get intuitively, and sometimes we will use tools. Some people use angel cards or oracle cards. Some people use tarot. Mm -hmm. Some people use stones. Uh, some people use pendulums. It depends on what works for the psychic to give them information. Um, but it is strictly information. It's not set in stone. Things are going to happen. Uh, it gives people a choice of what they are going to do going forward, given the information. Right, and it allows them to make a better choice. What kind of like Google Map? <laughs> That's right. This is what I tell my clients because I'm clairvoyant. I'm just Google Map. If you decide to turn right down the street, and I told you to turn left, that's on you. Yeah. Um, I use currently angel cards and tarot cards. Um, but you know, I know something else. There's two other things you didn't name: tea leaf readings. That's right. Palmistry. Right. Um, astrology information. All that kind of goes into that. And for me, I prefer questions. Yeah. Because for me, the information goes very much fast-paced. Mm -hmm. I tell them, you know, it's like watching your life on videotape, mm -hmm. on fast forward. I used to tell them it's like watching a VHS on fast forward, but nobody knows what that is anymore. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Only us of a certain age know that. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people, you know, get a little freaky about the information. Mm -hmm. um, think that we all we need is their name and their birthday, and we can instantly tell them everything about their life. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I'm also seeing you get out of bed seven days, eat 21 times. It's like, can you narrow it down so I can find out what part of this I need to look at? I mean, because a general reading for me is about an hour and a half. Okay. You know, and I go through half a deck of cards and give you a bunch of, you know, well, you eat like crap. <laughs> and you ain't sleeping worth a darn. And what the heck were you doing thinking about that shirt? That's not what you're coming to see me about. Oh, and see, with me, I, I don't get that. I, it takes me a few minutes to tune in, but I tend to see people around you. I, I may get a sense of somebody's emotional state. So if people are saying, is my great aunt Betty here? What does she look like? What is her favorite type of tea? I may not get that, but I try to zero in on just what you said. What is the most important thing this person needs to know? Mm -hmm. So you're right. And, and some people say, what color is my underwear? Or, you know, what's the name of my boyfriend going to be? That's not why you get a psychic reading. No, granted, we help with relationships, but unless yeah. he works at McDonald's, honey, I ain't gonna get his name. <laughs> you know, because they have nice big name tags, I can see the name. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not getting his name, and you don't want one working at McDonald's. No. Um, but also, you know, something that gets me a lot of times with people is they'll come in and they're like, well, I don't know what to ask. Why don't you book the appointment? Well, with, with me, that's where the tarot cards help me. Because let's say they sit down and, like you said, some people are very nervous about getting a reading. I think they're afraid I'm going to tell them something awful, either about themselves or that's going to happen to them. And truth be told, I can give them a heads up if there are some challenging things coming their way. but. They need to be able to work with the information that we give them mm -hmm. so that they can make the, the best decisions for themselves. So the tarot cards can help me zero in on this is what you need to know now. Mm -hmm. And But as you said, Asen, it does make a big difference if people interact, not just do one of these things, okay, tell me and I'm not going to give you any whether you're right, you're wrong, or I understand what you're saying. 
Um, it makes our hard jo our job harder because and it takes longer. It takes longer. It's like we're trying to work with you. Right. You know, it's like you wouldn't go into your doctor's office, cross your arms, and kind of we're not medical professionals. Yeah. But you wouldn't go in there and go, oh, I don't feel well. <laughs> you tell me. You what's tell me wrong. what's wrong. <laughs> um, or your therapist, or right. you know, um, and also, you know. We both have spent time in training, you know, in tarot. I now teach a tarot course. You spent time in crystals and with shamans and, you know, traveled the world. And, you know, I've done a lot of that also. You know, I have a nice big wall of paper. Because people always go, well, how what do you know? Right. What's your qualifications? What's your qualifications? Well, which one would you like to pick? Um, and if you're watching my YouTube, there is a office tour video going up. We're going to do that later today, where you can see all my qualifications. They're all over on my Facebook. We're going to be getting all of Amanda's stuff in line. Um, but it's like, I don't know if they, they think we're magicians. They can just magically fix their life. Like, boom, fairy grandmother running around. That ain't going to happen. Um, but also, let's kind of talk about the stuff we as legit psychics fight a lot of times. Okay, what I would say is the time frame question. When is this going to happen? I can give a general time frame, but again, everyone has free will. So let's say I'm seeing you may be getting a job offer. Well, if you don't put any resumes out for another three months, you may not get a job offer in three months or longer. So it, part of it is it's, a, it's the best estimate we can give. Right. But, but there are so many variables that exact times or exact people may not happen when we're sitting down for the reading. Now let's say next week something happens you go oh wow that's what they were talking about right or you know for something else that happens is uh, people go and they go well when is that going to happen i always get a range because for me i have to judge how fast that takes moving right you know because as it's present time it's going to move slower than if it's really extended mm -hmm. um so you know, those are some things going on with psychic readings. Those are some questions. Now, next time we're going to talk about how to spot a bad reader. That sounds Or, you yeah, know, as I call them, uh, scam artists. Yeah. They're not psychics. They're not terror readers. They're scam artists. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that on Coffee Chat. Um, and, you know, we're here at Crystal Lotus Shop in St. Albans, West Virginia. Um, you're in on what days? I'm in on Fridays and Saturdays all day from 1 till 8. Okay, and I'm down on Wednesdays from 1 to 6. And you guys can also book us both through phone. Um, in the down bar down there will be links to our Facebook pages. And you can book appointments. We provide them both in person and over the phone. Um, anywhere in the country. Or, or out of the country. Or out of That's the country. It, yeah. Yeah, uh, we can convert the time. It ain't no big deal. I've got clients in seven continents. You have clients currently on three. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, we're around. We'll be around. Hope you guys enjoyed this coffee chat. And we look forward to talking to you again. Bye. Bye.